Hi. Hi, I'm Fred McCoy, and this is Western Kentucky University's Music Magazine. You know, Western's known throughout the nation for its fine sports program and teacher education, to mention a few. But the humanities and fine arts at Western are thriving too. And today, we'll look at one of those fine arts, music. This vast complex behind me is the Ivan Wilson Center for Fine Arts. In it are housed the departments of communication and theater, art, foreign languages, and you guessed it, music. And not only traditional classical music, although we have that too, but also jazz and musical theater and various instrumental and choral ensembles that play a wide variety of compositions. Let's look into one such group in rehearsal, the Western Chorus led by Professor Jim Jones. While the chorus was rehearsing that beautiful number, 
Western's concert band, under the direction of Dr. Kent Campbell, was rehearsing this complicated modern work. Many of the instrumentalists at Western perform what we call double duty in the music department. Each performer must give a recital in their senior year and be a member of at least one musical group. There are the concert band, a marching band, the local orchestra, and various instrumental ensembles. One of the most unusual of these groups is the tuba ensemble. That's right, the tuba ensemble. Here are 12 tuba players to perform the Wabash Cannonball. Western's music department has a long history of illustrious faculty members. Roy Harris, the noted American composer, once taught here. And there have been others. But this year, an internationally renowned concert pianist from Argentina came to teach at Western. Her name is Sylvia Kersenbaum. Let's see what happens in some of her classes. with the body like that. Just the opposite. You know, just not this way, but not this way. Not against the arm. That's the way. That's important. Tiram, papa. That you hear, tiram, pa pa. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
Being a teacher is very difficult because there is uh, not only, obviously I have my ideas of teaching and uh, I know what I have been told, and, but every student is different. And uh, uh, especially having several students at the same time, I mean, one after the other, but still, I mean, there are uh, 15 students, 15 different cases. Uh, one will come with a big, enormous hands that is just one don't know what to do with it because just, you know, take 15, 16 notes with one hand. So we must, I, I must work in, in, in a way that this hand can, can be able to, to, in some way, to accommodate to, to the needs of a Bach or, or Mozart, but it's very, very difficult. Some people say it's a big hand is, is a help. It is a help up to a certain point. Then uh, another comes with a very small hand and, uh, or, or a very short arm. And for instance, I have students that have got big amounts of talent and they just don't work because, you know, everything is relatively easy to them and they feel content and satisfied and it's very difficult to, to have them working. And I have, at the same time, I started works with people with less talent and they are much, they are playing much better. From Controlled fingers, don't leave the fingers alone, you know. This is, and so you, you graduate exactly the sonority you want here. It's a kind of cool wind instrument like sonority. Left hand. As you can see, a lot of intricate and detailed work goes into the study of serious music. At Western, the study of jazz is just as serious and requires equally adept music talent. Here is Western's percussion ensemble under the direction of Emory Alford performing The Comedian's Gallop.
Every year, the music and theater departments get together for a major stage production. Alternating from year to year are a Broadway musical and a grand opera. Two years ago, that opera was Puccini's beloved La Boheme. Western singers performed the opera in English, and we recorded Mimi's death scene from the final act of this great opera. She's asleep. What's wrong? You're acting so strange. Why do you look at me like that? After the heavy melodramatics of death by tuberculosis, we thought you might like to hear something light and delicate. Here is another of Western's ensembles, this time for guitars under the direction of David Kelsey.
It may seem that we have shown a wide variety of musical life at Western, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. There are at least a dozen other student groups, many faculty and student recitals, and famous concert performers who visit Western. And there are classes in composing, conducting, performing, theory, and music education. We hope you've enjoyed this portrait of musical life at Western. If you're in the area, drop by and give us a listen. We think you'll like what you hear.